Hello, Sim family. My name is Carrie Jessica. I am your friendly neighborhood silver haired simmer, the mom in the neighborhood that spends as much, if not more, screen time than the kids. Today, we're getting back into our 10 generation not so berry challenge on The Sims 4. And I kind of wanted to refresh myself on the rules because. Um, I have been focusing a bit on the stepdaughter because she has just become a young adult and has a bit of um, exciting things happening. And Peppermint is a bit more in her midlife, like she's she's on track for hitting all of her milestones and Aiden is a toddler, so he's kind of boring. <laughs> So Peppermint is a mischievous scientist. She has to master a science career and complete the Chief of Mischief Aspiration. She has to master logic and mischief and she has to complete the Elements Collection. We've already completed the Elements Collection. We are at level five of our career. Hopefully we will get promoted. Um, but before that, the first thing that we are gonna do is not go out with her. We're gonna go out with Tia because we have a girlfriend. So we're gonna go on our first official like date date. And if you're looking at this and you're like, oh, I wanna know what world you're in. <laughs> um, I am in the Plumbella save file. I will post a whatever you call it up there to show you how you can download this save file and play it because it is a beautiful world. It really is. She did an amazing job at this. Um, so Aiden, Aiden is going to be the Rose Jen most likely unless we have other kids that seem to fit the bill a little bit more. He's going to be a politician and a serial romantic. So that will be kind of fun, but right now he's a toddler. So we can't really do much with that to make progress. Um, so instead we're going to focus on Alina and her stunning brand new girlfriend, Tia. Um, let's see if we can make sure everyone is caring for themselves while we are on this date. Did I just bring, did I just bring Aiden to my date? Um, okay. So Aiden go home. No, Aiden, Aiden go. Hold on. Um, is there a way to just like make him go to daycare? I did not mean to click for him to be here. Um, I want him to go. He cannot go home right now, but he can't apparently go to daycare either. Guys, <laughs> this is our first date. I did not want to bring my toddler little brother to the date, especially when he has no fun and is exhausted and hungry. Can I at least make him super happy so that maybe he'll just be adorable at the table? I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know what to do. Cheat need. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I don't know. Do I just like hit exit and don't save? I don't know what to do. Um, why is there not like a go to daycare? Uh, what? Why is my heart in my throat right now? <laughs> this is not that serious, but like, Mm. Um, I seriously don't know what to do. Uh, I guess I'll just bring Peppermint here so that she can take care of him. Oh my God. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Can they get their own table maybe so I can at least feed him? <sighs> All right, I, what? <laughs> okay, he is miserable. At, no, don't go talk to my date. Like, let me, just give me a minute, Aiden. Just give me a minute. Um, okay, I need something to keep him occupied. And, and, and he is exhausted. So I need like a couch and I need some food. Um, this is gonna be the only restaurant that has like a daycare off to the side of it. Oh my God, I just cannot believe this. So this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Whew. 
I don't even know what to do. What am I gonna do about food? Can I order a pizza to a restaurant? <laughs> um, is there actual food somewhere that I can just buy? Food. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot believe this. Um, okay, I guess I can just buy him a bunch of ice cream cones. I would be happy if someone just bought me a whole bunch of ice cream cones. Um, I guess the other thing I could do would, would be to maybe buy one of the food stall things and just hire a vendor. Why, why is this happening? Okay, um, apparently these aren't actual food things. They just look like food things. Um, all right, I can at least get them to play. And you know, Peppermint, you're kind of a bold lady. Can you just like walk into the kitchen of this restaurant and cook something? I don't know what to do. Okay, let me at least, I don't want their date to go badly because I'm so like, oh my gosh. All right, let's get, let's get Tia and Alina something to drink and something to eat. I, I wish I was more focused on making this like cute and perfect, but let's be real, just get some food. I don't even know if Tia is a vegetarian, so. Why did this go so wrong? <laughs> Why? Okay. All right, I mean, I guess, I guess I'm gonna see if Peppermint can just walk into this restaurant kitchen and start cooking. Like who's gonna stop her? I feel like, I feel like the fact that she was so scrappy when she was younger is gonna work in her benefit because if someone tries to tell her to stop, we might just fight them in the restaurant. Um, that just might be what we do. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this. Okay, let's try to focus on this date because the rest of it is a disaster. Um, Alina is very flirty and Tia is flirty. So I feel like uh, they are doing well considering I started this date off as a bit of a shit show to be quite honest. Um, all right, Alina is thinking about beautiful teeth. We're gonna ask her her personality type and see if we can't like, really see if they're pers like if they can work because like I know I think that they are super attractive and adorable together but but I'm I'm biased because I just like them for some reason um okay she's still learning about herself hopefully next time she'll have things figured out that is a really sweet and honest answer um love that for you Tia oh my gosh this date um she does have siblings. Oh, that's right. She has a sister. We actually had romantic interest in her sister. I think her sister's name is Isabel. Um, okay, let's take a photo together. Cause again, I think that that increases your relationship stuff. And then I do need to go back outside to check and see what we have going on with this mess of a situation. Um, okay, let me just hot pause and um, let me get this soup out. She just likes the color pink. That's fine. Um, I think we have floating soup. Um, we have floating sidewalk soup. Let's make sure Aiden can reach the soup and then get back into our date. Yeah, it really is floating. I thought it was. <laughs> um, oh, look at them. I love them. I really do. <laughs> okay, these are super cute photos and her photography skills all the way up. So they will be good photos too. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Like they are such a beautiful couple. Okay, Aiden, can you get this soup? Okay, let's, let's see, what a day. Johnny is back home and he earned thousands and thousands of dollars, you guys. Thousands and thousands. Aiden and Alina are going to be pretty set for life. Um, I don't think either one of them will take advantage of that at all, especially Alina. I feel like Alina has seen her dad struggle, like seriously struggle. When we met him, he was in 
a starter home that was smaller than the home that we were in. So Alina has grown up struggling and then she grew up kind of more financially stable once Johnny and Peppermint got married and then now she's going to be um, one of the wealthy kids. Well, I guess she's an adult now. Um, <laughs> I'm never going to ask for reassurance in this game because it's never good. Do you like talking to me? Nope. <laughs> it's never good. Um, let's see. I feel like some of these things we already know about her, but just we're just making conversation. She's open to the idea of having kids while seeing what that can be like. You too can be at a restaurant with a toddler running an absolute wreck outside of it to the point that you had to buy a toddler bed and you have floating restaurant soup that you had to break into the kitchen to make. Like who, who wouldn't want motherhood? Who wouldn't want this? Um, yeah, we're a mess, an absolute mess. I don't think I could do anything about the soup being in the air either, which is kind of funny. All right, kiddo, can you just like play with some things and then take a nap? Okay, um, <laughs> I'm so distracted. This, this date is not it. Um, let's see what's in our memories. We could talk about the date. Um, but so anyway, I don't think Alina would definitely ha like want to like mooch off of her parents, but I do think that Johnny, especially considering his own parents, um, kind of removed him from their family because they didn't like a decision that he made for his career. Uh, I feel like Johnny is going to want to support Alina in every way, financially, emotionally. He and Peppermint have both always been like that towards her. And I don't see it being any different. I think that they will support her for a little bit while she is kind of figuring out this, you know, adult life, this young adult life that she has recently been in. She has started her writing career, but she had, oh sure lady, just have some of my floating soup. Um, that was so weird. Uh, <laughs> so I don't think, uh, I don't think that she's in a rush to move out and I don't think they're in a rush to have her move out and it'll be nice because they will support her while she's starting her writing career and I think that she will be very appreciative of that. Now with Aiden, because he is a bit more, uh, he will be a bit more self-focused. Um, he might take advantage, not necessarily take advantage of the fact that his parents are wealthy, but he is gonna grow up always having had wealth. So it's definitely gonna mean something different to him. Uh, in fact, with the new spa day refresh, we now have high maintenance as a trait. And I wanna say the Rose Gen has maybe a, maybe snob as one of the traits. And I might actually switch that out for high maintenance. Let me know what you think about that. Um, so that we can start using a little bit of stuff from that pack. But yeah, I feel like Aiden is going to have always known wealth and um, he's gonna see it and treat it a little bit differently than maybe Alina will. Okay, what are we doing here, ladies? Um, what are you taking notes on? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. All right, I don't know what she's taking notes on. Um, let's get some more romantic interactions happening. Okay, where, where are we going again? Are we cheersing? I don't have any more wine left. Do you like my voice? She's gonna say no. <laughs> I bet she says no. Yes, Alina. Oh my gosh. Okay. For some reason, now that I know that like the ask for reassurance is just as likely to go really wrong, I think when it does go positive, I'm just gonna just gonna let that one sink in and um, you know mean a little bit more to me, and I'm gonna let some of the ruder ones go. Um, okay. I really feel like because even though she oh okay. I was just gonna say because she's had a lot of romantic interests, but she hasn't had a lot of romantic actual relationships that she's gonna be a little more awkward at it. Um, you are really beautiful today, Tia. I don't think I tell you that enough. Do you find me attractive? I don't wanna hurt your feelings. <laughs> oh my gosh, this ask for reassurance is a mess. It is a mess, okay. 
the date is over um aiden is asleep come on bud let's um bring our soup home i'm just gonna leave all of this stuff at the restaurant you know just in case it happens again three generations from now when we go back to that restaurant and see it there i'll be like oh my gosh i remember when <laughs> i remember when all right we are back at home there are some random people so maybe we'll, we'll be a little mischievous with them okay poor aiden is still a bit of a wreck i'm actually going to cheaty teleport him so that we can get him squared away all right guys so um we had a hot date um went pretty well even though it was a very distracted date <laughs> So hopefully we will continue this relationship with Tia and see where it goes. I'm really hoping here in the future we get to actually go to work with Peppermint and get her focused and get her promoted. Please, that is what I would love. Um, okay guys, I will, I'll see you in a couple of days. If you have not yet, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button and drop a comment. This is a baby brand new channel. We're super small and any support that you give, uh, it just means the world and I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in a couple of days. We will be back in with these not so berry gems. Oh my gosh, our girl is looking a little tired. A little tired. Next time we see you, we will be well rested. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one.